Hey, welcome to the shed and to another video. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to blacken the handle of this hatchet. I did a review on this hatchet a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to put a little flag up here if I can remember to link to that video. It's the marble hatchets we did the review on and the one of the nice things about this hatch is it didn't come with a varnished handle. So after a few weeks of using the thing, it got a little bit of dinged up and whatnot. So I took it and I did uh, focus, did a quick sanding and cleaning it up uh, job over the thing. And all I got now is bare wood. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to hang it, probably from this end, and I'm going to blacken the handle. And I'm going to do that for two reasons. One, it helps it last longer. Uh, it does that because, well, essentially wood's made up of two things, lignin and cellulose. Cellulose is the softer, more flexible material that you see trees grow first. It's what makes the little saplings green. And the lignin is the hard, brittle stuff. It's tougher and it ignites less. It's brittle though, so by blackening the outside of the hatchet, I essentially give it a coating of lignin and that in turn makes it a lot stronger and a lot harder so it also makes it more resistant to fire so if I get it too close to the fire it's not going to burn the thing up and second if I overstrike, say I'm hitting a piece of wood and I overstrike and hit the handle it's less likely to damage the handle so like the the head on there I put the I've got my first aid kit on there held on by a and anyway so let's get to it shall we so all I want to do here is I've got it hung up here is I want to take my torch here and I'm gonna burn it just just gently just enough to where I start to see uh, red embers grow and once I see the red embers move on to the next spot now this is gonna get quite hot so I've got my gloves on and I gotta be careful not to get the head too hot so uh, without further ado let's get to it I'm going to start at the top here and work my way down, so here we go.
sure I got everything all good. That eye is a bit hard to get to. It's pretty warm. Just gotta get underneath here now. How about that, huh? All right, the last step is gonna require something we don't care about, like an old screwdriver. I'm gonna heat it up and I'm just gonna run it along that edge right there and get that black is like the, like the rest of the handle here. So let's do it. All right, the last step. Whoa. The last step is we're gonna take some steel wool, which really should just be called iron wool, uh, super fine, and I'm gonna rub down the surface real good just to remove the charcoal and whatever else is on there that I don't want on there. The, the char wood, I mean. Let's go ahead and do that right now. See, look at that. <laughs> Just removing the charred wood we don't want. And one problem with using steel wool, I don't know if you can see it, but it leaves little tiny fine bits of steel in there, which we're gonna take a soft brush and get rid of because we don't want that. We do not want that. When we put the boiled linseed oil, which is step number three, blacken it, clean it, and then protect it. Once we do that, we want all of this steel wool fragments off of here. So let's uh, do that. I'm get inside the eyelet here. It got real, uh, really charred. The tail end of it as well. And then do the, the head. Look at how it brings the grain out in this piece of wood though. I'm not sure what kind this is. Probably ash, they're usually ash or, uh, they use another type of wood quite often too, whichever's probably cheapest actually. You know, 50, 100 years ago, ax hand, axes did not were not sold with handles. You tooled, you handled them yourself. They were sold with just the, the head. If you wanted to buy a handle, you went and got that separately and it was shipped and linseed oil. Now it was soaked in it, so when you got it back, you just charred the handle and off shaped it, fit it, charred it, and then set it into the handle. You do something similar to what's here, is right across the middle here. Come on, focus. 
something similar. Come on. Give me a focus. There we go. So something similar to what we've got here, except you can slightly make out there's a, a wedge of wood that goes lengthwise here. And then they put that uh, circle thing that they pounded in there, which I suppose is good enough, but typically you'd see two cross wedges going opposite of your lengthwise wedge to hold the to hold the head in. That's the proper way of doing it anyway, at least from what I know. So I'm gonna give this a good solid rub down with the steel wool that's just pulling off lots of carbon. And all this is is charcoal carbon that it's removing. It's not really removing any, well, not really wood any at this point. It's a chemical reaction that's changed the composition of the, the, the wood, so it's not, it's not no longer wood, it's charcoal. It's pulled out all of the cellulose. All that's left is the lignin in the outer frame, and on the inside you still have cellulose. It's just dried now. But I think, I think that should do it. And then, I'm gonna clean it off, get all of this, all of the, the, the nasty fragments of, of iron off of it. And I'm just doing a wipe down with my gloves because the, they'll embed themselves in the leather. And who cares, these gloves are gloves, are gloves are a tool like anything else, made to be used and uh, worn out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it into the garage and I'm going to, no I'm not taking it in the garage, I'm going to bring some boiled linseed oil out and we'll soak it down and I'll do it. Actually, we're going in the kitchen. My wife ain't there so shh. We're going to take it in the kitchen and do it over a bowl, some kind of uh, a bowl to catch the excess oil. So be right back. I lied. We're going to do it out here because I don't want to anger the one who must not be named the boss. So here it is. Got the boiled linseed oil, seals and protects. But anyway, we're gonna do it out here, right on the open, uh, I've got a, some blocks laid down here, so we're gonna do it right here, and uh, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> so uh, let's get to, there's still a little bit of black coming off, that's okay, I don't mind, I do not mind at all, so let's get it going here. All right, so first things first, set the hatchet aside, get us. A block to work upon. Boil linseed oil. Let's open it up. Um, child proof lid. But apparently it's adult proof too. Oh, come on. <laughs> Barely made it, boys. I deserve a medal for that one. Holy cow, what do they think they got in there? It's just oil. Stupid hippies probably caused that. Blaming the... Alright, make sure we got the crap off the handle here. And uh, apply liberally. Sort of. Getting the schmoo everywhere. We've released the schmoo, so... We just rub it on the handle. And it begins to soak in and has a distinct nutty odor it's slimy yet satisfying and honestly if we wanted to do a proper job of this we would soak it in here so don't be scared pour it on there whoa maybe that was a bit much get it around the handle all over the place make a mess it's not on me no, I'm wearing my good clothes, my work clothes. I'm just rubbing it all over here, getting it inside this little eyelet. Make sure I get it in there. It's all nice and greasy. And this will soak in and dry. And uh, in a day or two, I'll have a look at it. Polish up the edge a bit. And uh, yeah, this head is gonna, sh uh, the uh, eyelet here, the little head deal, She's going to swell a bit, increasing its ability to stick to the hatchet head. Don't worry about getting it on the blade, it'll help protect it from rust. That's why that's black, by the way, it's to help keep it from rusting. They put that coating on there, but 
Not that it matters tremendously, that's a video for another time, perhaps. I intend, I fully intend on making a knife. Um, I would like to harvest the materials myself, meaning I go out and collect it, and I think magnetite, I think you can collect magnetite right out of the water and turn that into a knife. All right, gonna hang it. Oh boy, I don't move the camera. Hold on boys, we're gonna, we're gonna hang it. I'm gonna take the, oh boy, I'm gonna get messy. We're gonna get messy. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get messy, Donus. <laughs> get the, can't grab the gloves, use the teeth. Oh, my dentist is gonna love me. All right, those gloves, um, they shall sit. Ugh, ring around the arm, okay. So, let's uh, set that aside. Nice, clean, lin <laughs> plasticky, rubber-smelling hands. Turn that down. Yeah, that's gonna sit there for a bit. Oh, socks are floored. Just wipe your fingers on your socks. It's all good, your mother will still love you. All right, here she be in the other dark, utter darkness. Hang in there in all her greasy splendor. My ISO is cranked all the way up. So she'll hang there. And that, my friends, is how you do it. So uh, that's it. That's really all I was going to do today. Um, we got it done. She's hanging up. Uh, yeah. And uh, I've got merchandise. This is one of my hats with my own logo on it and everything. Um, I like it. So, so there. Now we're back, it's the next day. Oh, look at that. That ain't too bad, right? The head is shiny, so it's got oil goo on it still. See a little bit of it right there still on the edge of the blade. How about that though? I like that it really makes the grain come out. It just looks, it looks pretty cool to me. But, is it greasy? Let's pull it down and have a look. Pull it down and have a look. All right, have a look at that, huh? Beautiful sheen to a little bit of a sheen. It's, it feels just like the original wood did. I like that, huh? How about them apples? How do you like them apples? And uh, what's even better, no schmoo on my hand anywhere, a little bit on the head here, but that's all right. Little oil on the head of the, the axe or hatchet here, it doesn't hurt anything. Um, as I recall, these used to be uh, shipped with an oil on them anyway, back in the day. You'd buy the, the head and it didn't come with the handle, so I think we've already said that, but ah, man, that looks nice. Nice smooth finish, it really pulls the grain work out. It just looks cool to me and it's stronger. So there you have it, that's how you do that. That's how you uh, burn, blacken, char, protect the uh, handle of your wooden tools. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. You guys are awesome. If you like this video, hit that sub button. Go ahead and share and like as well. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. I plan to go out west to an old silver um, town called Eureka. Uh, there's a spot there I know of, and I'm gonna do some little, uh, little, uh, you know, looking for critters. So, if you'd like to join me on that, anyway, love your faces, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Oh, remember, you're awesome. <laughs>